somebody breaks in your house at two in the morning, you don't have any weapons, or do you? Welcome to the Daily Driver Show. I am your host with a stain on my shirt. Oh well. So this video obviously I'm talking about home defense as well as like weapons in your home. This isn't the primary weapons that you would normally use, um, but there is always something around you that can be used as a weapon. Um, first off, starting with the most commonly used home defense, personal protection, whatever, um, would definitely be a firearm. This is a Ruger LC380. This is my uh, home defense, personal protection. If I need to carry and concealment is critical, this is the one I go to. It's got a seven round, seven plus one in the chamber. Um, and then one of my holsters right here. Uh, this is what I use for that. This is probably the most common thing that people would, would instantly jump to. Like, why do you want to buy a gun? Home defense, personal protection, home, you know, some, stuff like that. So this is usually what everybody has. Well, what if you don't have this? You know, if you don't have one in the house, there are other things that you can use. For instance, these here are pretty cheap that you can go out even online. You can buy a knife just like this. Now this is gonna be close combat, okay? This is gonna be somebody's right up on you and you gotta get relatively close to them unless, unless you're good at throwing them and you throw it. Either way, um, sometimes even the sight of these, as well as, you know, any type of firearm, can be a deterrent in and of itself. So keep that in mind. There's these types of knives. Actually, I'm just going to set everything over here. I just threw some things together for this here. And you got your pocket knife. Anything just like this. This is part of my EDC. I carry this on me every single day. Every day I go to work. Every day I'm just around the house, working out in the yard whatever this knife is on me I always have this knife with me um, usually just for general purposes and stuff like that but it works out great this can also be used as um, a home defense weapon and if you wanted to get all fancy um, this is a saw believe it or not this is made by uh, Grizz saw right here I got this at um, I want to say Gander Mountain is where I bought this, or, or I'm sorry, Gander Outdoors. Um, but it's a saw, it's got two sets of blades on it. Not a sharp end. But this right here, I do have a video of me, uh, I, had, I found like a, uh, like a walking stick almost, a hiking stick, um, when we were hiking. And I actually trimmed it down using this. And I mean, I just, it worked out really good. This here could also be used for home defense. I don't think I need to go into detail with the knives on how you would use them. I think everybody could pretty much figure that out. Something that most people don't think of if you're going to, you know, try to protect your home. Flashlights, believe it or not. If you, I mean, if you're trying to stay hidden, you don't want them to find you, obviously keep your flashlights down. I still have grease on me from work. Um, but they come in little sizes like this. You could pick up these on Amazon, on Wish, anything like that. You can get several of them for like 10, 15 bucks. So those are good too. Or you can go all the way up to like Coast. That's what this is here. And it's got the three settings. It's got the high, medium, low. Oh, I'm sorry, that's high, medium, low. And I think this one here was, um, $25 at Walmart. It was really cheap. It was on sale. Um, it does have the zoom as well as adjusting everything. But this right here on its fullest power, you come around a corner, flip that in their face, they're not going to see you. You're going to see them. Now, if they're standing there with a gun, they can instantly just keep popping you, you know, so kind of be careful and cautious. But it's also good for seeing around if the power goes out and you think somebody's in your house or something like that. You can go uh, through your own house with a flashlight. So there you go. Um, if you have a screwdriver laying around, this just happened to be sitting down here. Um, you can use this, okay? Even if you had a cotton ball, 
use the cotton ball. Here's a pair of pliers that were sitting down here too. You could always use those. Some um, some string. If you you know go around a corner and you come up from behind them like that and do do one of those numbers. Um, I wouldn't recommend like trying to tie anybody up, especially with you know cheap stuff like this. This is just a cheap little uh, piece of rope string or whatever that came from a. Um, I think it came from a hoodie, actually, or something, some apparel like that. Uh, if you have some little form of a survival kit that you take hiking with you that just happened to be laying near you, and you're going to use something like this, okay? This is a pen, but it comes apart somewhere. I've only taken it apart one time. Oh, it unscrews. Okay. And inside you have um, a couple screwdrivers. You get a flathead and a Phillips. So, plus there's like a little glass punch tip. So this can definitely be used as a uh, as a weapon. Uh, here's a little flashlight. It's got strobe on it. Good for signaling. Um, a lighter, just in case. Um, whistle. I'm not actually going to do it because the dog's going to go crazy. Same with the kids. Uh, striker. You know, a lot of different things in a uh, little cheap survival kit that you know that you can use for home defense. As well as this, it's got some rope on it, but it's a multi-tool. You could even use that. Might be good for like pressure points too, if you were going to get into a combat situation. But either way, there's that. Um, obviously, a kitchen butter knife. I always use that. Uh, oh, here, look at this. I had some flavored water in this, but you come around the corner, and they're there. Might send them for a. A loop right there so either way there's always something around you that you can use as home defense obviously there's been no demonstration here um, because everybody's gonna do their own thing you know you just got to remember at that time to, to stay calm cool and collected and um, you obviously call 911 throw your address out there first and then you at least know that they're on their way and then if you have to take care of business if you need to for some reason leave your safe room or the room that you're in always make sure you have if it's nighttime have a flashlight handy have your weapon whatever it may be if you don't have a gun or a rifle or a shotgun or something do not leave that room that that's just what I'm saying any type of firearm um, I'm not obviously not gonna you know, go around my house like this at three in the morning with a small little flashlight, you know, obviously I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna take my gun. So either way, there's that. Stay tuned for more content. I have a lot of things coming. I've, I've, I've not been making a whole lot of videos lately. I've been extremely busy for work and I've been working 10 to 12 hours a day and there's just not a whole lot of time to keep making videos when you have a family at home. So. Either way, like, comment, subscribe. Please help support us at Patreon at The Daily Driver Show. Check us out on Facebook at The Daily Driver Show for a lot of exclusive behind-the-scenes pictures and videos, a lot of hiking going on, um, and different things like that. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming, and as always, have a great day.